you're either living the nightmare. The aisles are packed, the entryways to get into the train are packed. Or you know all about it. It's been brutal. I mean, for the past couple of weeks, you know, it, it's gone from a 50 minute commute to two hours. Steve Silvera lives it and knows it. This has gotten so bad so quickly that I think it's focused people's attention in a way that however good our report was, wasn't ever going to possibly do. That 2007 report from the Massachusetts Transportation Finance Commission painted a dire picture, saying the MBTA finds itself in a downward spiral. The report warned that the MBTA is facing a likely funding gap of between four and eight billion dollars over the next 20 years to pay for its operating and capital needs, and that billions of dollars in MBTA expansion projects are being planned that have no identified source of funding. Silvera was chairman of the commission. Did you think the MBTA was on life support back then? Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's, those, are, those are big numbers. It was quite clear that, that if things weren't done, there was no chance that things were going to get better. And we all know things haven't gotten better. Eight years later, and the MBTA is now $9 billion in debt, and facing a $3 billion maintenance backlog. I mean, it's a few hundred million dollars a year. It is, it, it is a meaningful amount of money any way you look at it. Like it or not, Silvera says the MBTA needs more money. Doesn't necessarily mean there have to be new revenues from taxpayers. I mean, there's already, the government takes in 30, $32 billion a year. And so decisions have to be made. Do we want to have certain government programs? Or do we want to have a transit system and transportation network that works. Where is that money going to come from? Well, it's, it, that's the challenge. State so Senator Thomas about, well, McGee is Senate Chair of the Joint Committee on Transportation. The legislature did make reforms after the 2007 report, but Senator McGee says more needs to be done. Is it gas tax? Is it vehicle miles traveled? Do we raise the sales tax? Do we do regional investment with the voters supporting that? Uh, is it tolling? you got to make a commitment. You've got to provide the resources and you've got to have excellent leadership. You do that and you have a great system. Former Governor Michael Dukakis used to ride the Green Line to the State House. He calls the current situation sad, pointing out the MBTA was up and running within days after the blizzard of 78. Dukakis says the legislature should be able to pass a five cent increase in the gas tax, especially since gas prices have dropped dramatically. Yes, it's going to take some resources. And uh, there's only one way to get those. Look, I raised the gasoline tax at Dime in 1989 and 1990. It wasn't fun. It wasn't pleasant. Um, but if we hadn't done that, the whole transportation system would have collapsed. Today, Governor Baker dodged questions about raising the gas tax. I am really focused on getting the T up and operating. Is the gas tax completely out of the question, raising the gas tax again? I'm really focused on getting the system up and operating. His spokesman later told us tax increases are not the answer. Finding the fix may not be easy, but clearly something needs to be done. We can't ignore it anymore, but we have to find a way to build consensus. It's not easy. Senator McGee says transportation funding is an issue facing states all over the country. Oregon is piloting a pay-as-you-drive road tax that charges drivers one and a half cents per mile, but they'll also get rebates on the gas tax. Back here in Massachusetts, the legislature's transportation committee is looking at holding oversight hearings about the MBTA. Do you have inside information about the T? We want to hear it. Call us at 1-800-TV-FOX25 or email us at foxundercover at fox25.com. I'm Mike Bodette for Fox Undercover.